Hey everybody, so this video is going to be a products I regret buying video. Now, not necessarily all of these products are things that are absolutely terrible. I just tend to experiment with a lot of products and um, if they're not a favorite of mine but they don't work for a particular reason, I just kind of push them off to the side and I've accumulated a number of them so I thought I'd share so that in case you have the same preferences I do, you won't go waste your money on something that doesn't work as well as something else, if that makes sense. So it's kind of just a mishmash of products. I'm going to go through them real quick, tell you why I I don't like them or why I wouldn't repurchase them and if you have any questions let me know. Alright the first one is a lip gloss. Now I actually purchased this at the dollar store which is amazing. As you can see there's the price tag there. Three dollars because in the drugstore this L'Oreal Le Gloss color is upwards of ten dollars if not more. So it's a total steal. I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of money on it because it's not very good. This is the color Skyline Glow. I'll try and make it focus there. It's a really pretty color. Um, it feels good on the lips when it first goes on. It's a, little, it's a little bit sheer, like I put quite a bit there so it could show up. But the problem is it doesn't last at all. Like 10 minutes, you put it on 10 minutes later and it's pretty much gone. So yeah, I would not spend the money on this. I don't know if different colors work better, but this one in particular just doesn't last at all. All right, what's next? The next one I'll do, let's stick with L'Oreal since I have two of those products. It's a concealer. I like to experiment with different concealers, trying to find a better one. This one's the L'Oreal True Match. The color is neutral. Is that really my color? Fair Light N123. Anyways, so it looks like there. I used it on my face and I also used it under my eyes. Um, it just creases and not only does it crease, I'll swatch it for you, it just breaks down really fast too. It's a really nice color match. Uh, it blends in really well at first but it doesn't last more than a couple hours without it creasing. Creasing happens right away and then it starts to just patch away and break down as if you were sweating through a foundation, that kind of thing. So it's not long wearing at all. I definitely would not be repurchasing that. What should I do next? Uh, I have a bunch of concealers actually. Oh my goodness, I have three of them apparently. Okay, this one's from Essence. It's the Cover Stick, a very inexpensive concealer. I bought this to cover up blemishes. Um, I just made my hand wet with a wet wipe. That's what it looks like there. It's a pretty good color match. It's a little bit dark, matches me better in the summer, but it's just um, thick. It just clings onto things. It settles into lines, it almost makes the whatever blemish, I have a weird lighting going on, look worse than if you didn't put anything on it at all. So I would not recommend picking that up. And the last concealer is from e.l.f., a recent purchase of mine. This is the HD Lifting Concealer. So it looks like there. Very similar to the L'Oreal one. The reason I don't like it is for very similar reasons. I'm gonna try and shut these blinds. I kind of made it worse, didn't it? Anyways, um, it goes on nice at first, good color match, creamy, blends out, beautiful, doesn't last, doesn't last more than a couple hours, creases, breaks down, not worth the money. So that's that. Okay, the next one is a mascara. Now I've tried this in the past and I think I liked it more so in the past, but this recent one I picked up is just terrible. This is the Rimmel Scandalized Show Off Mascara. I like the idea of it because of the wand. It has um, that ball point to it, just like, oh, there's some mascara on it, just like the benefit they're real. So I like that idea to it, but this, I don't know if I got a dud, it just came so dry right off the bat. It didn't do anything. I would coat and coat and coat and you could barely even get my lashes black, let alone volumized. So not happy with that at all. Um, okay, a foundation that I got in an Ipsy bag. So I didn't go out to purchase the foundation, but it came in an Ipsy bag. So I thought I would share. I'm actually wearing it right now and it's the Yabby Natural Finish Liquid Foundation. I'd never heard of this brand before, but when you first put the foundation on, as you can see, it looks really nice. It's got a nice finish, it's got pretty good coverage. I was really happy with it. It doesn't last, that's my problem, and I'm not even oily right now at all, but I've worn it to work, I've worn it out for errands, and after about, I don't know, maybe three hours or so, it just starts to break down. When it breaks down, it it doesn't look good at all. It doesn't break down in a good way. It patches off. Um, it's just not long wearing at all. So I wouldn't spend the money on that. Two, or I guess the last three are eyeshadow cream products. This one you probably saw in my hard candy video when I was talking about a recent purchase I did with those. This is the Shadowaholic stick. I need to throw this out, but I was looking for things that I regretted buying and I saw this still in my drawer. 
this is how it came. Totally dried out, doesn't swatch, it's like patchy, it's just totally dried out. So I don't know if I got a dud or whatnot, but it, I don't know, I probably won't be trying out a new one of those. So that's from Hard Candy. This one's from e.l.f. It's the Jumbo Eyeshadow Stick. I'll show you a swatch of it. Really pretty neutral champagne color that I usually gravitate towards. I've used it a few different times. The problem is the sparkle in it. When you go to blend it out, it gets a bit chunky. So that's kind of an issue, but I can work with that. But there's not just sparkle, there's like glitter in it. And the glitter falls all over your eyes. It does not stay where you put it. So you end up with kind of glitter down here, glitter up in your eyebrows, just too much glitter. So I would definitely try a different color from them without the glitter, but this one's a fail. And the last one I've had for a long time, I picked up a few of these when I did an Avon order like last year. These are the cream eyeshadows. This color is Pebble Stone. I've tried it so many different ways with so many different primers because I've got a number of these colors. I'll show you a swatch of it. The problem is it's just oily. So I don't know. It's It goes on patchy. It's not very pigmented. Oh, you're not even going to see that. It's right there. But I'll show you on my finger again. It's not very pigmented and it's oily. So it just kind of runs all over your eyelid. It doesn't go on with the same intensity throughout. I tried it a bunch of ways. It doesn't work for me. So I think that's about it for this video. I'm sure I'll have another one of these in the future. I'm sure I've forgotten lots of things, but not everything I try is a favorite, that's for sure. And some things just don't work for me, but they might work for you. So if I mention anything that does work for you and you use it a different way, please let me know in a comment down below because I'm willing to give it another try. But I wanted to let you guys know, if you have any questions, let me know. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.